Hi, I'm Ahirin from New Straits Times. Today, I have two 2017 Kawasaki models with me. The Ninja 650 and its naked sibling, the Z650. Both bikes are powered by the same liquid-cooled 649cc parallel twin with 8 valves and dual throttle valves with fuel injection. Now, Kawasaki is not a stranger to the 650cc market. Having to create it about 9 years ago, back then, the models were CKD'd and basically made big biking much more affordable to the Malaysian public. These two bikes are the direct successors to Malaysia's favourite 650s. How do they measure up? Let's have a closer look to find out. First off, the styling on these bikes are absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at the Ninja 650. It has the iconic ZX-10R front end which is absolutely radical. Both bikes also gets a new trellis style frame but on the Z650 it is more visible. The trellis style frame also gives these bikes a much more sophisticated look and it also ties them closer with their bigger brother, the H2 and the H2R. The overall ergonomics of the Ninja 650 is much more comfortable than the previous iteration. The seat and the foot pegs are now lowered and the handlebar also comfortably positioned. The geometry of the Ninja 650 is designed to put very little weight on your wrist. This is a plus and also a minus. It is good for those long distance journeys, but when it comes to hard riding, having more weight on the front wheel meaning you will have more feedback and also control from the front wheel itself. The brakes ABS units, which consists of dual semi-floating 300mm petal discs with dual piston and a single 220mm petal disc on the rear on both bikes, are very effective. On the Z650, the seating position is more upright and relaxed. It's not just the looks that have changed though, under the skin, these bikes have improved a lot. They have an updated engine and also a new gull arm swing arms. The steering angle for the Z650 is steeper at 35 degrees, while the Ninja 650 is at 32 degrees. It gives these two bikes different characters. One enjoys the longer distance journeys and also this one is more content on shorter ones. The Z650 is priced at 35,600 and the Ninja 650 is priced at 37,200 with GST but excluding insurance, registration and also road tax. Now they may be based on the same bones but they are very different animals when it comes to riding them. If you are a Ninja fan ready to carve up those corners then the Ninja 650 is for you. But if you are more towards urban riding, comfort and Kawasaki Sugomi style then I bet the Kawasaki Z650 is your cup of tea.